Hey guys, welcome to another Asset Editor, and this one I have been looking forward to. We are going to light up the Icarus Tower, and this thing is awesome. Okay, so we are updating a building, and the building that we want is unique, and it is the Icarus Tower. So all I've got to do is find it. Uh, which there are so many buildings I've got in here now. It's here we go. There it is the Icarus Tower Right, uh, I think we'll stick with the height it is because holy crap. It's already big enough <laughs> Okay, so here it is This thing is I mean it's just awesome. I absolutely love this building Lighting this up. Okay, the, the the one word which you're not going to be using when I finish this is subtle. Trust me. Now, as far as the base is concerned, I'm kind of not too worried about the base because this is going to be kind of sunk into the apple center. So, I don't, I don't think we really need to worry about the base too much. I think we'll extend it by one just, um, just to cover that that back piece there but other than that I don't think we're gonna do anything I think we're gonna leave it pretty much alone what I am gonna do just to make it kinda look nice is just to concrete the base like that so at least the base looks kinda sharp and I see I'm looking at this now and thinking actually that needs to come out one on this side as well so if we take it up to nine yeah, and then let's relay that. Oh, let's come out this way, like that. There we go. Okay, right now we can focus on lighting this puppy up and adding any any bits and pieces that we want. Now we could decorate this with. Um, there, there are lots of kind of like open areas and stuff where we could put some trees or whatever if we want to. I think we probably will. I think we. I, I don't know. I've kind of been a little bit of two, but certainly, certainly we're going to do something. I think on this big platform. These are the ones I don't know. We might put some small uh, flower boxes and stuff like that. Okay, let's get on with the lighting first, shall we? Because that's going to be the most fun. Actually, I, I tell you what I'm going to do first before I forget, because I'm liable to forget otherwise. I'm going to put in the door marker because we we want to mark where people are going to be going into the building. So I think it's just going to be slap bang there yeah that's where we want people going into the building now uh, do we want any parking or anything like that because he could put, we could put some parking markers down I don't think we are for this building so I think we're gonna get straight to the lighting now I could put some street lights around the bottom but I think we're gonna be going straight for now again I mean we could do some cool things with lighting it in different colors and stuff but I think again I think simplicity is going to look best. I'm, I must admit, I am really tempted to use some um, some blue uh, floodlights. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, you know, we, we might like play around with it and see what it looks like. Let's take it down to... Which, where's, the, where's the darkest? The darkest is about there, I think. Because we want to... We want to see the full effect of these um, floodlights. Now, this is the white floor light, which uh, is not very bright. We want... This is the... Ah, here we go. White floodlight. <laughs> now, let's come down to here. Now, these things... I'm just looking if... Ro uh, like, I didn't think that rotating these made any difference whatsoever but and I'm rotating this and like I don't think it makes a whole heap of difference I really don't okay so we're gonna want one down there for sure we're gonna want one there for sure and we're going to want one in front of the entrance way. Uh, 
Man, this thing's big. Although, you know, I'm thinking about it and thinking, well, hang on, we've got the apple center down the bottom. Do we even want to light the bottom? That's a very good question. Maybe we should start from the top. Look how big this damn thing is. Right, you know what? Like I said, we're not going for subtlety on this. Wow. Out of editing area. Oh, okay. Well, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. It thinks that this, the top of the building, is outside our editing area. Now, that seems... Ah, and it is because it extends... Oh, we're going to have to extend the base. There you go, see? This is what you learn as you go along. So we're going to have to extend the base to include that top part. So well, let's bump it out to like... Um, well, we're going to have to... If we bump it out to like 12... Now, there is a setting in here. If I can find the darn thing. Uh, no, it's not in material. I think it's in general. Is it being a building general? Uh, you, you can expand the front yard. We actually don't want that. We want to, if anything, contract the front yard. Huh. Okay. What about if we take this out to 14? Right, that just about includes that. But still means that we can't put lights on this back edge. Now, we can put them on the inside. Right, and if we do... We light the building up from that perspective. Now, we're going to have to expand this even more. Man, like if we go out to 16, have we got the... No, it's still not. Man. Got to... So we'd have to go out to 17. Jesus. That makes this pretty damn big. I don't know if that's even going to work, guys. But, um, well, I guess... We will find out. Right, I've got to try and get into this light and, uh, and get rid of it. And, come on. There we go. Cool. Now, and I'm looking at the base now, thinking, well, yeah, does that mean I'm going to have to decorate the base? It's possible. It's possible. Okay, right, well, let's get, um, let's get some of these floods on the back of this building. So... I put them on here. How well does it light this up? See, it lights that up really nicely. It doesn't light this up so well. Because it's shining through this. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, now, are there any kind of obvious markers which would allow us to... No, there aren't. So, I think we're going to start slightly higher. I think we're going to start up about there. And... Shit, wet man. We remember we've only got sixty-four props, so like where like if we put one yeah, that probably around there is where we want the next one. And then around down a touch. And across a touch. There. Wow. Man, see, this is the kind of building where using an illumination map, which is kind of the pro way of doing it, would be um, would be kind of nice. But hey, you know, got to work within our limits. So, have another one there. God, this is going to look freaking awesome when it's done. Okay, so we'd want the next one about... I want to try and keep them pretty much even if I can. Yeah. I'm actually spacing them out. Like, each one is like a little bit wider than the previous one. Which I think tends to look quite good. But we'll kind of see when it's, uh, when it's all done. And... Okay, so the next one would be somewhere like about there, wouldn't it? So, yeah, and I'm going to have to move this across a little bit, I think. So, yeah, there. Now, let's just have a little bit of a look at this building a bit closer. Yeah, you know what? I was coming up the centre. This one is a little bit offline. So you know what? We'll, if I can actually 
get the darn thing we'll replace it because that's a little bit offline man get <laughs> oh there it is oh come on come on there we go Oof. all right so still got a still got a long way to go with this building jeez okay let's start do we want this one about there don't we yeah we do man god this this building is so huge it's up there and okay now that takes us up to there doesn't it now i wonder whether instead of putting that light there we should actually put a light just there i'm thinking like on that corner And, like, maybe even one there as well. If we put one there, and then one, like... Bring it back a touch. There. And, uh, and actually get rid of that one. And maybe even have one in between. There. Right, you know what? Let's see if we can get rid of this. But... Oh, there it is. Oh, man. It's so hard to get. Alrighty. How are we looking? Oh, that's pretty freaking sweet. Oh, we still got to do the top. Man. Now, the top, like I said, I don't want to be subtle about this. So I'm thinking maybe we have, like... A light on that side and a light on this side over here like that how does how does that look yeah 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 like those like those okay so now I think we'll try and put in some like accents to kind of pick up like the features of the building so I'm thinking we maybe have a light there and another one on this side like there oh yeah like it like it and we could we could even put one in here to light up kind of this part here yeah I think so and then, do we want to light this part? I think we probably do. Let's pop a light on there. Oh, it's starting to look nice, isn't it? It's starting to look nice. Okay, so, yep, we're definitely going to want one on here to light this part. Now, if we put it there, is it going to illuminate? the other side as well yes it is and that's nice oh yeah liking that liking it oh god this is a fun game isn't it like this is like this is just the asset editor like why is this so much fun right so I'm thinking we want one on this ledge here and then we're definitely gonna have one on this ledge here and then up top here Now I've put one I've put one on that corner, haven't I? So I guess we should have one on this corner. And then I'm thinking here. And now we're definitely gonna need to light. I'm thinking I think we're gonna need one there and we're gonna need one up here. And I think on the edge of this ledge is probably the right place there and there boom okay now I was just looking at this bit here because this bit isn't lit and I'm thinking yeah we probably want one on this corner as well uh, uh, see do we put it on the corner or do we put it in a bit 
Now, we could always put two. We could put, like, one there and one out here. But I don't know. Where's the best illumination going to come? I'm thinking that is actually providing the best illumination. So that's where we're going to put it. Oh, ho, 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 that is freaking sweet. You know, I'm looking at this light here, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I really should have put two. I'm wondering. Because we've got one there. We've got one here. I don't know. Like, again, you know, sometimes less is more. But we're definitely going to need some light up here. And I think on this level... Ooh, man. I want to get in, like, a little bit closer. So, I'm thinking that we're going to have one there, and on this corner as well. But I'm thinking we might have one in the middle as well. Oh man, hard to control, hard to control, come on. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we have another one, like, there. But this is going to have to be in between those other two, and the the grid lines don't kind of help very much. Uh, well, you know what? Let's put it there and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that, that kind of lines up with those, so that kind of works. Woohoo! Lit up like a Christmas tree! Now, are there any surfaces that we haven't lit? This um, this back surface here, I don't think there's much that we can really do to light that. Um, I mean, other than putting like another light on here, I don't think there's anywhere that's really going to help us too much. Um, and we could put something on that surface there, and on. I don't think there is a surface on the. Is there a surface on the other side? Yeah, there is. I mean, we could put something, like, on that surface there. So, like, if we were going to do that, then we'd want it kind of... Zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So we'd want one, like, there. And then we'd want one, like, right on opposite. And it's going to need... If it's going to look good, then it's going to need to be, like, level. So it's... There, I think. We won't really know until we zoom out and take a look. Oh, I think I got it right. I think we got it right, guys. Man, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's pretty freaking sweet. I'm, I'm just looking at this surface here. Because... We have no illumination on that surface. So I think we're going to have to put a light. Uh, let's see. It wants to come in a fraction. To the middle. There. To light that panel up. Ooh, yeah. I think... I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Just have a little look in here. But no, I think I think we've pretty much got everything. I mean, you could put a light there. I'm just wondering if that's slightly overkill. I don't know. It would help to light these internal surfaces. Which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. God, this is huge. Okay. So, down here, I think we're going to put a light in here. And do I like the bottom? That's the question. We've only used 36 props, which is 36 lights. Uh, so, I don't know. Do we like the bottom? I'm thinking that we probably do. Want 
something in here. Perhaps, yeah, maybe. Maybe there. And this, I think, would be the final one. Boom. All right. Man, that looks good. I'd love to put another one there, but I think that's going up like a little bit too far. Um, okay, ground lighting. I'm thinking one there. And I'm thinking one probably out here somewhere. Maybe there. Oh. Come on, you've got to admit, it is a beautiful building. Now, do we like that? Yep, we do. And then... That's going to be a little bit tricky. Trying to light this. We're going to have to put it on that surface there. I mean, I could put it down on the ground there, I suppose. But I think that we'll have it on that surface there. There we go. Now, again, like I said, I don't know why I'm bothering to light the, the, the bottom. I guess it's for you guys. So that if you guys want to use this asset, then uh, then you've got it. And I've just spotted this ledge here, which we haven't lit. And we absolutely should. I think just on that corner there. Are there any other little ledges in here that we need to think about? I mean, you could light that inside corner. Now, the other thing is, I don't know whether we could... Oh, 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 now. That might be good. Pop one there. Because that's going to help illuminate this inner part. Yep. Oh, man. Some people are going to say that that is way over the top. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> really, really don't. I want it... I really want this nice and bright. Okay, so we've got a few props left. So I'm thinking we'll do just a little bit of decoration. So uh, we're going to go to the, the park stuff. And I want flowers and plants. Now, which is the, the good flower pot? And I'm thinking that it's... I'm thinking it's this one. But I could be wrong. We'll see. Now, I need to get in fairly close. No, it's definitely not that one. Well, actually, the thing is, this building is so huge that everything that you put next to it looks tiny. Uh, it, you know, I'm thinking it's that one. But, like, everything looks so insanely small. Like, is it, like, I mean, if you take a bench, right? Uh, where's a bench? We could put a bloom plane on here. Um, yeah, we're not going there. We're not going there. No comments, please. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the hedge. I mean, like, you could put hedges on this thing. It's so damn big. That's Actually, that's kind of sort of tempting. Put, um, put some hedges on here. You know what? I was thinking that might be a bit of a stupid idea, but that is not the worst idea I've ever had. All right. Uh, one guard there. Now, there is another one, isn't there? Which is, yeah, which is a smaller one. So we could actually, like, pop some of that. I think, you know, I think, though, that we'll kind of live with what we've got. We could put a smaller one, like, on the end. If I can line the thing up. I'm thinking kind of there. Because this is like such a like a plain building. Would there be any point putting one on the end there? I don't think so. You could. Uh, if I can actually get that. Here we go. You could put some on here. Which might not look bad. Thinking one there, uh, one. The perspectives are kind of weird, and do we kind of box that up? 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we do. So. Be a, there will be a tiny gap, but that's cool. Like that is what I'm thinking. Like it's in keeping with the building. It's in keeping with the lines of the building, just putting those hedges in. Um, oh, man, I can't get... I can't zoom into that one particularly well. In fact, I can't zoom into it really at all. Uh, if I come back like that... angle it I could get a bit closer same I'm thinking same thing on this one just put like one on each edge like there there and then spin it around touch more like there and there cool and then I don't think we're going to do anything on there. Yeah. Um, do we do anything on the top? No, I don't think we're going to have hedges on the top. I think that would look silly. Um, yeah, because nothing I ever do looks silly. Now, I mean, you could you could put something on the top. But I, again, I think it's too much. I think it would just look silly. Do we want any benches? Like, how small a bench is going to be on here? They're freaking tiny. Like, they're ridiculously tiny. So I don't think we're even going to bother with that. So what else? What else could we possibly want to put on here? Um, the only thing would be if we were going to put maybe a tree or two. But like, I can't imagine. I think trees would spoil the clean look of this. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment, unless that purple kind of complements the building. So, like, I mean, you could potentially put, like, maybe one there. I, I, like, I don't think on there. And the thing is, you need, like, relatively small ones. That's too big. Let's get rid of that, see if we can get a smaller one. No, no. Ah, see, that would work. So let's put that on there. Um, are we going to want anything anywhere else? I guess that we should maybe think about putting one at this end as well. well that's kind of a kind of a big one, but maybe live with it and I don't think we really want much more than that guys okay so uh, we can get rid of these couple of trees down here we can oh you know what I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I do that am I gonna get rid of my lights and I've got a sneaking suspicion We'll have to have a look and see if that got rid of any of our lights. Um, let's take it back to night time. No, we've still got them. We've still got them. So, well, you know, I, I, the question is, do I do like, do like I decorate the bottom then? But I've only got like five props left, so there's kind of not a lot that I could do anyway. And if I was going to do something, what would I do? Well, I would probably throw in some trees and the ones that I would use would I mean you'd have to use uh, like robusta palms like to have any chance of them looking like anything because this building is so freaking huge so like you could do something like just pop in uh, like four robusta palms like this that's too big. We want a smaller one. Oh, and of course, now it's not going to give me a smaller one. Get rid of that. We're out of objects. We're up to our limit. So I've got to, like, plop them. And then to, ah, there you go. That would do, I think. It's probably just about... Yeah. That would actually be better at the back. 
it's a slightly bigger tray. The problem is, if you put two that close together, it's almost impossible to demolish one without demolishing the other. Let's try it. Now, see, it demolishes both of them. And now I'm stuck with blooming little one. Ah, there you go. There you go. We drop. We drop lucky. There we go. Get rid of that. Uh, oops. Get rid of that. Right. Is there anything out? We've got one prop left. I'm just trying to think. Like, is there anything that I'd want to put in? Like, I could put in a helicopter if I wanted to. But other than that, I mean, well, I mean, the only thing that you could put in. Which, um, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to put in. I, I mean, I was thinking about, I mean, you could put a parking thing in or something like that. But what we're going to put in is a hang-around marker in between these trees. There. There we go. Right, cool. And there she was, done. Now, the question is, having put all of those millions of lights on there, right, what's it going to look like in-game? Because it's all very well and good looking it out here, but you don't really see the textures properly. It's got this grid all over it, so it's kind of hard to tell what it's really going to look like at night. So you know what? Um, let me uh, let me save it, and I'll have to play around with the um, uh, all of the pictures and stuff. Get all the pictures taken. Okay, so we'll take that snapshot, and we'll take a thumb shot snapshot and we'll take an info shot boom all right cool let me save it and then we'll go and take a look at it uh, a look at it in the city and see what it looks like so I've replaced the old ones with the new ones and initially they just look pretty much identical you can actually see those little trees that we put in those little purple trees I think they're kind of a nice little, you can see the hedges, but they're, they're not intrusive. They don't kind of stand out, which I like. But of course they do, you know, they do have a tendency to disappear. But um, yeah, okay, I kind of like that. And at the ground level, I mean, we're not really going to see too much of this, but we've got these open plazas with these, just these few trees, which, whoops, which I'm... I'm okay with. I can live with that. Right. <laughs> Should we have the real test? Because the real test is what happens at night. So let's come over here and go down here. And we'll see what happens to these babies at night time. So we need to crank this up. Oh, we're getting towards night time anyway. So you know what? Let's, let's crank it up to uh, almost dark. Here we go. And that'll give me time to uh, get the camera sorted out. And then we're going to watch, because it, it, we're going to get a really nice sunset. And these buildings turn up this wonderful kind of golden colour. They're lighted up already. Oh my god. Talk about the City of Lights. Wow. I love it. I love it. Let's... Let's get up. You know what? I want to. I want to see what it's like when you get down to like ground level. So let's just pop in here, um, and we need to just be past the arch, right? Then we can get down to first person. Oh, how does that look? Wow! My God, they look awesome at night. I think we've picked up pretty much every surface on the buildings. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stop saying wow and uh, we'll leave it there. But man. Oh, I am pretty damn pleased with that. Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you back for the Aquitania series. Peace out.